Hello, hello, and thank you so much for returning. If you are returning to my videos, thank you for joining me today. My name is Esther. Welcome to my channel, and this is My Money Matters. This channel is to make me accountable with my budget, and my hope is to inspire others to see the benefit of saving and cash stuffing. Thank you to all those who reached out and left messages for me on my last video. If you don't know, I managed to um, do some damage to my knee. I fell at work and managed to have 12 stitches uh, put in a nasty laceration in my knee. But um, I'm making a really good recovery, so just want to thank you for that before I get stuck in today. So I'm going to do a check-in because it's been a little while, so I'm going to try and kind of skim through that and then we'll do a bit of weekly cash stuffing. So I've not actually done a check-in with you for a little while, so like I said, I'm going to skim over as quickly as I can. Okay, we're starting way back when in November, which seems ages ago. Um, I've got plus £7.20 now. I bought two pairs of trousers from Sainsbury's and I wanted to try them both on and then return the one that didn't fit. So then um, that was a refund back into my account. This is me zeroing out my last three digits of my bank account, which then goes into a savings account. Uh, then I did my cash stuffing on this day. I've kind of put no spend, but... I'd, I don't know what to do. I know some of you would count that as a no spend because it's cash stuffing, but technically it's money come out, so I might scrub that out. Thursday was a no spend. That was on the 24th. 25th, Amazon. Now, I think this might have been around <laughs> Black Friday. You might notice a theme. Um, I'm amazed actually how much I did get a bit spendy over Black Friday. I don't normally get so spendy. Let's have a look. The 25th was... Right, so this is in green because I didn't actually spend physical money. I've got gift cards which have been saving up in my Amazon account and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use my gift cards and splash out on a um, an iPad stand because when I use my iPad for Zoom calls or for meetings and that sort of thing, the iPad is always quite low down, <laughs> it's not a great angle and it takes up room on my desk. So I invested in a really nice um, iPad stand. And then I needed some boring clear nail varnish undercoat and some eyeliner. So really kind of boring stuff that I didn't want to spend my money on. So I just used my gift cards. I still got quite a bit in there. Some of you might have heard of Amazon shopping panel. I don't think they're taking on any more people. You take photos of 10 receipts a month and they give you a £5 voucher. So um, worth knowing about if you can get on that. Then a thirty two ninety five buying for the boys. I think this was for a um, a game that one of my boys wanted that I'm going to save up for his birthday in March, but it was on offer during the Black Friday sale. Um, Seven nineteen. Ah, this was for a gift from my mother in law, which is a phone case uh, for her birthday, which is coming up in a few days' time. Again, this was another thing for my son's birthday, just some cards that he collects and anything that were was on their list which was reduced because of the Black Friday sale, I just thought I might as well buy it now while it's cheaper. Thirty four ninety nine for Christmas. This was, a, again, honestly, Black Friday, I blame Black Friday deals. This was a last minute gift for my husband and I thought, mm, I think I might just get him something. I don't think he watches my channel. But I won't say just in, just in case. <laughs> okay, twenty two ninety three birthday money. What did I spend my birthday money? Oh, nail varnishes. Yes, so my pretty nail varnishes. That might sound a lot of money to you. I bought. Let me explain this one. So you you buy this. It's black. You put black base underneath, which comes in the set. And then you put a color on top. It looks brown, but it's like a purpley colour and then a greeny and then a bluey so yeah I've been eyeing these up for a little while and it was nice to actually just treat myself and I thought you know what I've got birthday money I'll use that now the other thing I bought was holographic nail varnish but I didn't realise until it came that it was a gel nail varnish and you need a UV lamp and all that business so I was like so I returned to that then my usual, usual phone bill came out and then these two expenses, which happened to be exactly the same, were for some iPad cases. Uh, my son needed a new one because his was falling apart and I, now that I've got my iPad stand, it's a bit tricky with one of the kind of flip cases. So I've ordered myself a new case, still waiting for that to come, but I think it's got lost in the post somewhere with Royal Mail and strikes, etc. 
and I actually had some no spend days, amazingly. Um, I did my weekly cash stuff, money for the help to save scheme with HMRC, and then eight ninety nine on gifts. Now this would be a bit more than I would normally spend on a fluffy rabbit keyring <laughs> for my son's friend who is her birthday on the weekend and he's going um having get together but because it was on prime I was like right I'd rather it get here on time and spend a bit more money and it took a few days to arrive so I was a little bit gutted and then when it did arrive the quality wasn't uh very good but it was kind of too late um I thought by the time I return it and get something else it's, it's going to be too late but yes I was a bit disappointed with the quality for the amount that I paid there you go 763 that was the refund for my nail varnish again sounds expensive but it was coming out of my birthday money anyway no spend christmas this I, now i thought if i'm going to send christmas cards what budget should it come out of and i thought surely it should come out of my christmas budget because uh it's christmas related so i spent three pound 40 on getting some cards posted and then because I'm still recovering from my knee, I was having a particularly lethargic day and I'd had my flu jab and I was like, do you know what, I just can't face standing up in the kitchen and trying to cook. And by the time my husband comes home, it would just get a bit late. So um, I treated ourselves to a fish and chip meal, which I'm always amazed at how expensive it is. But they go, I suppose, for four people and curry sauce and <laughs> extra bits, then yeah, it does come up to to a bit. And then that brings up up to yesterday, which was a no spend. And then today I'm actually going out so uh, for my mother-in-law's birthday. So that might be some spending in there. So same as last week, I've not actually spent out of my purse. So I'm going to leave the money that's in there. Um, I'll just quickly go through what I've got. Pennies in my pocket has still got its ten. Maybe miscellaneous has got its five. Charitable causes has got ten. Family, friends, food and film. Now, this has only got 10. I wonder whether I need to put a bit more in there. Uh, giving gifts and celebrating celebrations gives me 20. So, I might have to put some money in here. Actually, I'm going to leave that as it is because I have got some money in Hyper Jar as well. So, um, money that I needed to go back to the bank was £45. My son has been spending some money and then putting it back into my account. So I've just kept his cash. So I've only got £45. I would normally stuff 55 but like I said, because I'm not stuffing my purse, I'm just going to stuff this cash. So let's get this counted. I've got 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, £45. Right, we always come back to the 365. Actually, I think um, my youngest son gave me some change the other day and said, here you go, Mum, you can put this towards your challenge. So let's see. It wasn't a lot, but it was something. So I like to keep some money, say like £1.50, just so I've got some change in there. So no, it's not a lot at all. 45, 6, 7, 8, 48p. <laughs> so we'll come back to that. Um, let's cross off, oh, have I got some change left? No. Let's get some change out of here. And then we can do our... So taking a five out of there and just changing that up. And then I'm going to do my 55 countdown challenge. Um, I think I'd like to get the, oh, maybe I could do more, five, six, seven, eight, and then the two. Let's do that. So let's use the green for the eight. Hmm, it's a bit messy today. And then, I don't really want to use yellow. Use orange for the two. <laughs> Making a really nice uh, pig's ear with this. See, maybe that's what I should have done instead. Just coloured the outside, but no. Esther insisted on colouring the whole lot. Oh, I'm putting ten pounds in. What am I doing? I can't do the math. Okay, let's put the tenner in. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> wafty wafty. 
Oh dear. When it's all separate, like, it just it threw me then. <laughs> I'm not going to count that up. I'm just going to keep totting that up. Maybe next week. Right. Let's have a look at this. Shall we put a, a tenner in here? Um, let's, let's do a tenner today. And who are we going to fire at? Let's, I want to do this one here. So... C4, C5, C6. Lovely. And let's give that a little waft around. Wafty, wafty. And let's get thing 10. So this is going towards my son's he wants to go to like a Rubik's Cube competition um, in March, so this now has 10, 20, 25, 30. Oh, I could put the coinage back in here now, can't I? So what have I got left? I need to do my envelope and I need to do my 365. So let's just put the 5 back in here, <laughs> after all that. So it's got, um, let's cross, 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, would it like that? So, third five, ninth twelfth. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, saved. 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. Yes, I am using my fingers. No shame. <laughs> oh dear. Right, good. It's just nice to keep a tally sometimes of what's been saved and stuff like that. Now, let's see what we can do with this 365. I really wanted to put a tenner into my envelope challenge this week, so we'll put whatever's left. Let's get the old calculator. So £10, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 48. So, take away 290, take away 289, take away 288. Oh, it's not a lot. And one eighty one. Okay. <laughs> Maybe next time I have some more money. <laughs> Let's get this in here after a wafty waft. I don't know why I'm busting the gut. This is going towards the next year's Christmas. So I've got a time. I just feel like this has been dragging on and on and on and on. And our is done. And again, we're not going to count that today. We're just going to keep going, keep going. But um, I just think they're so tiny. If the numbers weren't so tiny, <laughs> it'd make a difference. <laughs> it'd feel like I was making progress. <laughs> oh, well. I will do this. I'm determined. Determined to do it. Right, let's get Penny to jump over the gingerbread. And it goes. I've not had to change for a while. So I sorted out my envelopes last week. And so I've now put them in reverse order. So we're going downwards. So then I know how many envelopes are left. So when I get here, I know there's 78 to go. Yep. And then I forgot that I was going to put my envelopes in my piggy jar. So that's the other thing that I managed to do. So today is number 99. I'm going to put a tenner in. <laughs> I was saying I didn't want to fold the money. I've seen how people have to like unfold all the cash. I was like, oh, it bugs me. So I'm just going to just put it in lightly in the hope that when it comes out, it will spring open and I won't have any troubles. We shall see. We shall see when it comes to emptying it. So there we go. 
So I made all these cash envelopes with some um, scrapbook paper I've had and there's a video on how I made them if you want to check that out. So this feels empty now but uh, in it goes. It's really exciting. It's nice to do another challenge. Okay, I think that's all for me folks. I'm really enjoying doing this weekly stuff. It just helps me to touch base and make sure that money's going into my challenges. It's great, loving it. Um, and these are my new additions to my table. I forgot I had these. So this lady gingerbread has got a hanging thing missing. So I thought I'd just lie them down on my table. They're so cute, aren't they? I think again, I picked them up at a charity shop. Mr and Mrs Gingerbread. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching along. Don't forget to give me a like, please. Thank you for those that do thumbs up. It just really helps with being searched in the old algorithms. And please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, if you hit that bell and go to the drop down menu and press all, then you get notifications of all my videos coming up and things like that. I do love reading your comments, so can you please leave me one below and I'll get back to you when I can. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Tell me if you're feeling Christmassy. If you do celebrate Christmas, God bless you. Happy cash stuffing. Until next time on My Money Matters. Bye bye. <coughs>